With the declaration of initial services by the European Commission on the 15th of December 2016, the Galileo program has taken another giant leap forward. After a long development validation and a partly completed deployment phase, Galileo initial services can now be offered. With all of its ground stations fully operational and 18 satellites already in orbit, ESA and the European Commission are confident that the system will offer robust and accurate timing services. The initial services mark Galileo's transition from a system in deployment to an operational system. The initial services is a stage in the program whereby there is sufficient infrastructure is made available in space, satellites around the globe who circle around, uh, plus infrastructure on the ground which uh, control the satellites, provide the navigation signals. Um, enough of that infrastructure is ready so that uh, the system can be used. The use is still uh, not fully 100%, hence the word initial services. The Galileo initial services will start by using the 14 satellites which are already operational. The four satellites launched last November will become operational in a few months. In a satellite navigation system like Galileo, the robustness, accuracy and availability of signals are greatly increased when more satellites are added to the constellation. Here you can see the initial service coverage. Today the Galileo satellites can only offer coverage at certain places at specific times. But in the future they will offer a permanent global coverage. To this effect, ESA will continue to deploy more satellites until 2020 when the 24 satellite constellation is to be completed. Over time, more services will be declared and the practical applications of Galileo will become more numerous. Today, three different types of services have been made available. One is the so-called open service. This is for the mass market. This is where people will use their smartphones, their uh, navigation devices in cars, which will um, have Galileo enabled chips inside, inside which will receive both Galileo and GPS in combination and it is the combination of the two systems which will be used to determine the position of the user. In addition to the open services there is also a search and rescue service which offers a major improvement to emergency beacon technology. The last of the initial services is the public regulated service. This service is aimed at government authorized users and can be used in the event of national emergencies. With these and more services to come, ESA and the European Commission are making an important contribution to our ever-changing technology-driven society. So it is very satisfactory for us to see that uh, this was an investment which has been very worthwhile and um, we are therefore excessively happy that uh, we now start with initial services and that we built out the system to its full potential. Soon the impact of the first publicly owned navigation system will be felt in our daily lives. The Galileo chipset will be built in or activated in our smartphones and sat-navs, offering the public more accurate navigation signals, fueling dozens of applications and even saving lives. The declaration of initial services is only the beginning.